Today is a fun video because all of the supplies I'm using are from Dollar Tree. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Before we get going, this video is part of a playlist. I will link the channels to these four amazing gals in my description box, as well as the playlist. Thanks, Emily, Missy, Amanda, and Shannon for hosting. I told you these DIYs are all from Dollar Tree, so let's create something cute today. Dollar Tree has stickers, rub on transfers, stencils, and window clings. And I thought about using these window clings because they are super cute. And honestly, I keep eyeing these wallpaper sheets. There's so many things you can make with them. And of course, Dollar Tree has a good selection of stickers, rub on transfers, and stencils. I'm starting off with this tray that I got from Dollar Tree. And basically, everything is from Dollar Tree today. So everything is very affordable. And the paint I already had on hand, and it's folk art, acrylic paint in the color white. And since I didn't tape it off, I'm just carefully applying a good coat to the bottom of the tray. I did tape off the bottom so I wouldn't get any paint on that. And I'm just giving it, or giving the outside of the tray and the sides a good coat of Waverly chalk paint in the color Barely Pink. And while the paint is still wet, I do remove the tape. You just gotta be careful not to mess it up. <laughs> now here's the rub on transfer I'm using. It gives me a kind of like French couture vibe and I'm just cutting it down to size, you know, because the tray's smaller than the stencil. So I'm just making, I mean the rub on, so I'm just making sure it fits. And now I'm taking the transfer sheet and placing it on the bottom of the tray. And I'm using my handy dandy Pampered Chef scraper tool to begin rubbing the transfer on. I rub until it starts to look like not as dark. Like you can kind of tell when the transfer has transferred onto the surface. See, okay, like here with the E, part of the E looks like it's a lighter color, and that's how you can tell. And you would start to remove that transfer paper. Be careful not to pull it up too quickly. So in case something didn't transfer all the way over it, then you could just lay that paper back down in the same spot and then rub it some more. I give it a good coat of Mod Podge to seal everything down. And here, I'm just going along the edges with a gold paint pen. It's not really super noticeable, but I think it kind of adds a little extra touch. I'll do a reveal at the end, but moving along to DIY number two, this little plaque sign is from Dollar Tree and so is the Farmer's Market stencil. And let's just pause just a moment while I vacuum up the area with my sweet little ladybug desk vacuum. Isn't it cute? Anyway, I'm using the same white folk art acrylic paint and painting the front and back. And next, I'm placing the stencil where I want it and then placing some painter's tape on the edges. And I do that for a couple of reasons. One, I want, just want to make sure everything's secured down so the stencil doesn't move around. And secondly, I want to make sure I don't get paint where I don't want paint. <laughs> There are lots of different ways to stencil and you have to be careful about it bleeding. So some people put a thin layer or light layer of the first color down. In this case, they would have put white down and then they go over with the stenciling paint. I didn't do that, but another key thing to remember is that you don't want to too much paint on your brush and you want to make sure that you're like bouncing up and down with your brush and this will help it not bleed. And then while it's still wet, I do remove the stencil. And finally, I wanted to stress this a bit, so I sanded it with my finger sander, and then I went around the edges with some distressing ink. Can y'all hear the fire trucks? I live near a fire station. <laughs> Anyways, for DIY number three, can we all agree that I need a new bottle of wood glue? <laughs> Anyway, I didn't need to use this square thing, but I did. And I'm just lining up two sets of six tower tumbling blocks together and I'm gluing them side by side and two sets of three tower tumbling blocks together and I'm gluing those together as well, side by side.
I'm making a planter and I'm taking some jumbo craft sticks and cutting them down to size. And I'm not gluing those together, but I put some glue around the edges and then I'm gluing the little sets that I just made to it and also to each other. You kind of see what I'm doing. This is one of those wall removable tile decals and it's actually one single piece. So I just chose the decals that I wanted and cut those out to use on this project. And they are sticky, but they're not super sticky. So I also had to use some Dollar Tree, like a, a glue stick to add some extra adhesive to it. And then I trimmed away any excess with some scissors. And I don't like styrofoam or that floral foam, but this came out of a package that I got in the mail. And instead of just tossing that, I'm using it for this DIY. It's gonna be like my floral foam. But those little, it gets everywhere. And I'm also using Spanish moss. And the reason, like I was saying, the reason I don't like either of these is just because they're messy and it just feels like they get everywhere. But it looks nice on the project. Hey y'all, I wanted to extend a special invite to join my Facebook group, Crafty DIYs on a Budget, that I run with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. We have fun sharing our latest projects in there and the link's gonna be in the description box below. Okay, so for our last DIY, I'm painting this little pot that you can find at the Dollar Tree, especially during the spring, with some white folk art acrylic paint. And I found these super cute rub on transfers at Dollar Tree and I'll be cutting out the ones that I want to use. And it's basically the same process as the other project. Place the rub on transfer where you want it, rub it on, pretty easy peasy. And you repeat that same process for the transfers that you want to apply. So this is how everything turned out. I love this little pot actually, and I just had this little extra floral or succulent piece from another project. So I just stuck that in there for the time being. This is that little tray. I think it turned out super cute and you could put like little trinkets in it, maybe a candle on it or something like that. I do like the farmer's market sign, although I'm not really into farm animals necessarily. I, I like farmhouse, but not necessarily farm animals, but I think it turned out cute. And of course, I really do love this little um, paint uh, planter because it kind of reminds me of like Mexican pottery or something. So these are my creations for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.